Um, I am here today to do the get to know me tag. I don't know if this one's specifically a tag. I just found it online randomly and it said get to know me YouTube tag. So I'm doing it. Before I start the questions on here, I guess I'll just start off saying I'm 22 years old. I'm from California and I have a cat here that's going to knock down the camera. Planning on one day moving to Oregon, hopefully. And right now I live in my own. I have a script here because I cannot speak. Um, <laughs> I change my hair color pretty frequently. Right now I don't have any plans to change the color. I'm trying to like grow it out. Um, it's gone through a lot. Um, it's currently shaved underneath. I'm trying to grow that out a big hassle but whatever I don't regret anything I like gnomes and I like anything to do with aliens UFOs stuff like that I actually filmed this video yesterday or the day before and did not plan it at all I just like looked up the questions while I pressed record and then I just didn't know how to answer them it was just all like uh I don't know so, yeah, I'm prepared today. <clears throat> what is your middle name? My middle name is Lynn, so I am Audrey Lynn. Share your favorite subject in high school. This was a hard question to answer. So I did not like any subjects, um, so I chose AVID, which is like a college prep course, and we did do college prepping. I mean, yeah, we applied to colleges and stuff, but mine was a little different. We'd bring in food and there was like a coffee maker and we'd watch movies and we'd have to take like Cornell notes on movies like Happy Feet and Psycho. It was pretty funny. So I would say that's my favorite subject in high school. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is Dr. Pepper and pretty much like a lot of sodas. I love soda in general, vanilla coke, pepsi, cherry, coke. I have a soda issue that I'm working on. I drink too much soda. What is your favorite song at the moment? Um, I don't have a favorite song at the moment. I mean, I listen to a lot of different kinds of music. It totally ranges from like, I guess I could listen to like classical all the way to like heavy metal. I mean, I listen to like uh, Disturbed, I'm a Down, Corn. I love all that, but that's not the question. My favorite song is Hopeless Wanderer by Mumford & Sons. I love that song. Um, I also like Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Um, a lot of Led Zeppelin. I love Led Zeppelin. My favorite song is Stairway to Heaven. I don't care. That's stupid. That's it's a song. I like it. But if it if I were to choose something that wasn't Stairway to Heaven, it'd be Full in the Rain. I love that song too. Oh, the mail's here. I'm supposed to get a space heater today. My apartment is freezing. We were supposed to have a heater and um, random rant, rant. Um, and we it doesn't work. When we moved in, they're like, oh yeah, don't turn it on because it's not gonna work. And I'm like, okay, cool. If I didn't have a heater for the first winter <laughs> I moved here. And um, it was freezing, and then my friend Stephanie, she gave me her space heater, and I've used it so much to the point where it doesn't get as warm anymore, and I feel really bad because I don't know if she wanted it back or not. You know, it works still. It does work. It's just not as hot. I ordered one yesterday, and I, like, paid for one day shipping because I need a heater, and it's here. Ah, uh, next question. Have you participated in any sports? Yes. I was a cheerleader. Um, I cheered for three years. I did Pop Warner for two years. And I was on the cheer team of my high school my senior year. And then I coached my sister's cheer team two years after that. Just like an assistant coach, not like a full coach. Um, 
so yeah, if you see, if I ever post pictures of myself like throughout my life, you look at me and be like, oh, she's a cheerleader, that's weird, but it's fun, I'd still do it now if I could. What is your favorite book? Um, I'm sure I have a favorite book, I couldn't really think of any specifically, but I like any mystery books, anything, I love when there's like a bunch of different stories and they all come together at the end. I like books on serial killers, I've read the biography of the BTK killer, um, he's really interesting to me. Scary stories to tell in the dark, I just got all of them. And apparently they are making a movie, so I'm stoked on that, I'll be all over that shit, like, for real. There's some spooky stuff in here, man. I just remember this one picture, like, oh, hold up, cat's trying to play with the camera, it was called The Thing, and it was this creature that would like, I don't know, I always pictured it like creepily, like, walking across the street and coming out my window, and it scared the shit out of me. I'm going to find it. I said I was prepared. <laughs> Here it is. There's this creepy, creepy bitch. Like, F you, right? Who wants to see? I read this book way too young. What is your favorite color? My favorite color, it's hard to choose a favorite color. I always just say purple, but it's like really changed since then. A lot, I, like, bleh. when people buy me things, so like, they're like, oh, like, what color do you want? They usually, or if they don't know, they don't want to ask. The cat wants his um, cat post back. That's where my camera's on. Usually buy me green because I had green hair for like over a year. So um, I would say that my favorite color is green, like a lime green and orange. Yeah, I kill for that. That's a great color combo right there. And I guess I do have a hair plan. Um, I'm waiting to grow it out really long and dread my hair because I love dreads and I want to do one lime green and one orange, so that's a plan. Don't take it. Um, favorite animal. My favorite animals are elephants. And it's this cute little guy. This little guy actually used to wear this necklace I'm wearing, but not anymore. Elephant and bat. I got this guy. This was a gift last year for Christmas and I know it's kind of creepy and weird. It's like a dead animal in a box, but it's cool. Favorite perfume. My favorite perfume is Flora by Gucci. I've had this bottle for like five plus years. I don't know if perfume expires, but you know, it still smells good, so, I mean, what's the harm in that? Um, I only use it for, like, really special occasions because it's so expensive and I, like, I can't get myself to, like, buy it for myself. I just have that bottle until it runs out. Favorite holiday is definitely Halloween. Hands down, I go all out. I, like, sewed my costume this year. It was pretty rad. I was a witch. I could post a picture. Um, some of the questions I don't want to answer on here because they're just like stupid questions. Like, number 12 was on a scale from 1 to 10, rate your childhood. Like, what kind of question is that? Have you been out of the country? No, I should have just skipped that question too. Do you speak any different languages? No, I should have skipped that too. But I guess now you know I haven't been out of the country nor speak any other languages. Do you have any siblings? Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> I have, um, two sisters. One who's 19 and one who's 18. Both my sisters are in Tahoe in Snow Globe partying it up without me and it's really saddening. Yeah, sounds fun. Favorite store. I have a million favorite stores. Lately, I shop a lot at Target. It's ridiculous how often I'm at Target. I know I'm not the only one. They're like constantly like restocking things and coming out with new things. It's like I think I want one house decor and then it's like they come out this whole new collection. I'm like frick like I want that too. So yeah Target and Lush I've converted everything of my like 
um, hair, lotion, you know, whatnot. I'm Forever 21 because they're cheap and it's Forever 21. Cost Plus World Market, I don't know if those are everywhere. Um, I mean, World Market can be all over the world. I that's no, stupid. I don't know. I like it. They have some unique furniture and dec decorations and stuff. My favorite restaurant is Veggie Grill. <laughs> I don't know if those are everywhere, but if they're around you, go to it. Um, it's like vegetarian, mostly vegetarian. There's vegan. I'm not vegetarian or vegan. It just tastes really good. Buffalo wings. It's not real chicken, but it's good. Highly recommend. It says my answer is no. I don't know the question. Did you like school? There you go. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, I would say my favorite YouTuber is probably Clickend. Um, I relate to her the most. She's like, she's just so interesting. Her videos are pretty long, but I like that. And she just talks about all kinds of stuff, mostly tattoos. And I love her vlogs. I just love her personality. She's so funny. Uh, I could watch her all day. When I first discovered her, I just started at video one and just watched. And now I just keep up with her keep up with her stuff. Also, Sarah Hawkinson I watch a lot of. She's pretty cool. I can relate to her a lot. She loves horror. And I love horror too. And yeah, those are some of my favorite YouTubers. I watch quite, uh, quite a few more. I'll probably do like a YouTube video people I watch thing, you know? Moving on. I forgot to show something. I'm so sad. Oh well. I'm just going to show my Led Zeppelin records because I was pretty stoked on these. I love this one. This one has Fool in the Rain on it. So I have the back. Yeah. I didn't show those when I talked about it. I'm lame. Favorite movies. My all time number one favorite movie is Big Fish. I love Big Fish. Um, I cry like every time even though I know the ending. It's just so cute. It's Made my favorite, Flower and Daffodil. It's just such a cute movie. Um, also, The Craft. Witches. Badass, man. The Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I love Michael Sarah, and he's just so, like, goofy. If I was a guy, I'd probably be him. Like, yeah, he's me as a male. The Sleepy Hollow. I don't have that on DVD, but it's on Netflix. I love Sleepy Hollow. Tim Burton's awesome. Took or Treat. Sarah Hawkinson actually is the one that, um, why I watched this movie. I went out and bought it and it's good. It's pretty good. I've seen it like three times and I just bought it in October. I don't care. It's a good movie. Next is my favorite shows and shows are definitely my life. Like my life consists of movies, TV shows, and YouTube. I just love watching things. I'm a homebody. It's all I do. So my favorite show of all time, I'm so sad it's over, is Desperate Housewives. It was such a good show. I've watched each season like three or four times. It's ridiculous. Portlandia, I, I rewatch that show all the time. Goosebumps is a guilty pleasure, as well as Arl Stein came out with this other newer show. I think it's meant for more teenagers or, I don't know. I don't understand Goosebumps. Well, the next one's called The Haunting Hour. And it's so good. The Haunting Hour actually trumps goosebumps. It's scary. Like, I was scared. Watch it. I don't know what age group this is meant for because it was terrifying. It's scarier than, like, the stupid scary movies that come out now. Also, like, Dexter. Dexter was really good. What phone do I have now? I have this one. It's the 5C in a pink. I wish I had the green one. How tall am I? I am six foot. I'm like just under six foot. So I just say six foot. Even though I wish I was shorter. And the last question is, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. This is Sauerkraut. And he is, uh, he was born in April. So however old that is, I can't do math. But this is him and I love him so much. I also recently had a bunny named Rupert, but he got really sick. It started out with an abscess, and um, later it just turned really big and got black and gross, and there was a tumor in there, so I had to put him down. That was back in November. So, I miss my little Rupert, but he misses him too, but I got a little sauerkraut now. 
this was my get to know me tag oh and as you can see i am getting up and walking around because i got a new camera for christmas my girlfriend yes i have a girlfriend her name is Lacey. gave it to me um and here it is gave it to me for Christmas, so I'm really excited. I'm not going to be on the stupid little webcam, and hopefully the audio is good on this, because the one on the um, webcam was not very good. The next video I'm going to do is, pr it's probably not going to be the December um, favorite video just yet, because I'm going on vacation this weekend um, to Aptos. I have a little mushroom cabin. I'm really excited. It's my three year anniversary with Lacey. So we're going to do that and hopefully I will be confident enough to vlog there. I have this thing where I can't talk on the phone or do much in front of her. I just get really embarrassed. So we'll see if I can vlog. Maybe she'll do some too. So anyways, I will see you then if I do that, which I, I'm, I think I will. Anyways, I'll see you next time. All right. Bye bye. I caught my heater. How funny that my first, like, unboxing video is, well, this will be like an unboxing clip, is opening a heater. There's a box in a box. Yay! Oh, there's some wood in there. Some wood. I think I can put it on carpet. We'll find out if my apartment's on fire, but, uh, here she is. Yeah.